What was all that sniffing? I don't know. <laughs> he was definitely sniffing. Sniffing? What do you mean sniff? Sniffing with his nose. What do you say? I don't know. You know, what if drugs? <laughs> you think he's on drugs? I don't know. Do you have any drugs in the decision to become president? I think so. I mean, <laughs> long time a reputable investigative journalist for the failing New York Times, failing sad, gonna go to our business in a week. Awful. Kurt Etchenwald decided to spill some tea on Trumpito. I've been covering Donald Trump. I started writing about him in the late 1980s. At that time, I obtained his medical records. It showed that in 1982, he was given a very heavy prescription for an amphetamine derivative, and he remained on that prescription for many years. I knew from people inside the Trump organization that uh, they were deeply concerned about his condition, that he was getting reckless, that he was getting um, impulsive, that he wasn't sleeping, that he was speaking with these sort of great variations of grandeur, that he could do anything. Oh, fun fact. <laughs> In 1982, Trump started taking amphetamine derivatives, abused them, only supposed to take two for 25 days, stayed on them for eight years. Ooh, Trump really amped up? Ooh, mm -hmm. we fucked yep. out. He you geeked up. The shits? And like, bitch, I might be. You been doing the f poppers and shit? You been like, <laughs> bitch, I might be. <laughs> Ah, well, we knew that already. You seen it in the debate when your man was like, Yeah. Your man had a wild coke drip, like, allegedly. Alle allegedly. Allegedly. Notice Trump sniffing all the time. Coke user? Why did you go there? Here's the interesting constellation. So he sniffs during the during the presentation, which is something that users do. He also has grandiosity, which is something that accompanies that problem. Uh, he has delusions. I'm not talking about being crazy, but for example, uh, when he told everybody it was very smart not to pay taxes and then denied he said it after he said it in front of 100 million people, it's not that he's delusory about, about it, it's that he thinks somehow he's not going to get caught. That is delusional. Allegedly, every yeah. now and then, your president in chief comes up and his yeah. nose looks like Tony Montana. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's an amazing thing. So that you know what he talks like now. He's wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. His yeah, interview you know from 1980, back when it was legal to do drugs, right? Is that yeah. how it worked? I don't know. Yeah. Two years before, he allegedly, allegedly started abusing amphetamines, a.k.a. speed uppers, eye poppers, a.k.a. party starters. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Ah. That's a party pack. Well, I like the inner cities. I see the inner cities as being sort of a wave of the future now. I think with the with the he's calm, he's thoughtful, he's thinking yeah. about his answers. He's not erratic, just saying yeah. he has a vocabulary of more than seven words. No, it's, he doesn't say bigly sad. Yeah. Stab, pause, weird, awkward pause. Here's Trump after the alleged eight years that he abused speed. Alleged, alleged. I say that again, allegedly. Alleged. Don't sue me, I'm poor. We can't sell beef. It's peanuts. And by the way, unbelievable people are coming. Ah, that is Yo, check it out. Yo, you're, you're bugging. You're bugging. You're bugging. Yo, listen. A shirt with three sleeves would look ill. You gotta understand me. You gotta plan. You see the vision? You don't see my vision? Yo, vision of God. Oh, the light just went off. See? Look, the light was on. They just turned. They don't like it. You know, it's tough. Daniel. This one's fascinating to me because this is the president looking at thousands of his most devoted supporters and telling them he's seeing something in the room that is not actually happening. So he made this allegation last night about CNN and, and its camera. He said, the light just went off on CNN's camera after I insulted them. That didn't happen. The, the CNN camera operator, uh, the photojournalist, never stopped recording, uh, would not stop recording. And his camera, he told me, doesn't even have a, a light. He set it so that the light is always off. So Trump could not have seen anything, even if he had made a change. So this is the president, again, looking at his supporters and, and just making something up. Right. Look at him, he's like... <sighs> <laughs> Sorry, the guy got the Bobby Yo, Brown Yo, shit, this like, nigga should have swing it. Ooh, boy, this shit is like, swinging ooh, like a playground. All, all this right here is on fire, like, yeah. 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 He's like, oh, this is that fresh shit. He's like, I feel it in my gums. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> my teeth are tingling, oh, my God. Oh, you hear that? You hear that? Someone answer that phone. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Or uh, for... Immigrants on the whole create our... Come on, try getting it out. Try getting it out. <laughs> I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. So what the Damn, dog! What the fuck? Uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, Yo! Uh, aggressive cokehead. Like. Damn! 
Yo, chill. He's like, yo, you said you only had a 20. I see you with fucking like six grams. What's really good? What's really good? Why'd your line, why'd your line fatter than my line? Come on, what the fuck? What the fuck? We went half and half on the bag. I chipped in, bro. I chipped in, bro. What the fuck, bro? Come on. With the skimpy lines over here. Bro, give me a cigarette, bro. Come on, fucking bro. My shit's like a Q-tip over here. You got a baby dick. What's going on? Bro, come on, dude. Come on, dude. Now Snifflegate has given way to Slurgate. Political and religious. Because about 11 minutes into his Jerusalem speech, the president blew a blessing. And God bless the United States. Drew reminded us of the dry mouth he experienced also 11 minutes into another speech. The core principles of fairness. That time he had to reach for a bottle of water. I did six seasons of the Celebrity Apprentice finale. He's a speed freak. He crushes up his uh, Adderall and he sniffs it because he can't read, so he gets really nervous when he has to read cue cards. I'm not kidding, this is true. I had a 24-page NDA, non-disclosure agreement. I didn't know then he was becoming president. Now it's, no way, dumbass, I'm telling you everything I know. <laughs> so he gets nervous and he crushes up these pills. That's why he's sniffing when you see him in debates and when you see him reading. That's why he's tweeting, you know, he's like, he's out of his mind. It makes sense if you think about it. Methamphetamine was invented by the Nazis to keep the fighter pilots up all night on bombing runs, right? So it makes sense that Trump would use it to hate tweet and the self-centered rage at 4 a.m. on the toilet. Right. So what I'm gonna do is span out, span out. Show them the crowd, press. Show them the crowd. Show them the crowd. Look, they're not turning the cameras. They don't even turn the cameras. He's too wacky, dog. Like, there's got to be substances there, or else he's like Isn't early. Many of you know, I have long suspected that Donald Trump sometimes seems to be on uppers and sometimes seems to be clearly coming down from uppers. There is the upper Trump I've mentioned before. That's the one that is speaking quickly, sweating often, sniffing a lot. And then there's the other Trump, the slow slurring. God bless the United States of America, the depressed looking and sounding Trump. The PMI manufacturers index uh, is has gone substantially up, which was an incredible Larry Cudlow, wherever you may be. Larry, please stand up. Uh, he just gave me these numbers. There are pictures now which appear to show boxes and boxes of Sudafed and upper uh, at Donald Trump's desk. There was an incident recently where the president appeared to slur his words while giving an address. Um, did you look into what the cause of that might have been at all? I did. Yeah, we, we talked about that and there was absolutely no, uh, you know, clinical findings that would suggest. I think the reason for that was quite honestly, me being up here right now, I think I need a drink of water. Uh, <laughs> is, but, uh, I think that um, I had given the president some medication, uh, specifically some Sudafed over the days previous, and I think that I had inadvertently kind of dried up his secretions a little bit more than uh, that I intended to, and I think that led to, uh, that precipitated it. Remember this tweet and picture? Happy Cinco de Mayo. The best taco bowls are made in Trump Tower Grill. I love Hispanics. And the really fascinating thing here is not actually Trump's taco bowl, but it's what's in the drawer which Twitter user Jay Railing points out is filled with boxes of suit fed. And when you look closely at that picture, you do see what look like at least four boxes of suit fed. Now, Jay Railing makes a few other claims in his tweet thread. I've tried to research them and they are even more interesting. The first one, for example, is that although the photo was taken in New York, the boxes include a type that is only sold in the UK with a different box and distinctive ingredients not found in the US. I went on CVS.com and indeed that version of Sudafed is not sold in the United States currently. This is not a new allegation. Noel Kasler is a New York City comedian who worked on Trump's show The Apprentice and has said many times Trump was snorting Adderall and eating Sudafed. Quote, Trump snorted Adderall all through the day on Apprentice. He also ate UK Sudafed like candy. Now, as we know, Trump often seems overly alert and has notably dilated pupils that just don't seem to make sense for the amount of light that is in the room where the pictures are often taken. So symptoms of taking exactly this. Um, but I don't think this is a ridiculous idea. Something funny was going on with Trump last night. Do a sniffling, the grandiosity, the delusions, uh, the pressured speech, you know, this guy's already proven himself to be unstable. The question is, why is he unstable? 
Like, he's not even gonna answer to this. Yeah. He's like, it's whatever. He's like, yeah, I take whatever's in the cabinet, nigga. He's like, I'll be pop, whatever. Yeah. Whatever. I take Ivanka shit, too. <laughs> you. It's whatever. I'm high off the estrogen pills right now, my nigga. That's right. I take your birth control pills. I don't give a <laughs> <laughs> I'm not here wild. I think I got the whole little ring. Like, <laughs> I ain't getting prick and town. <laughs> <laughs> Am I saying this to make fun of Trump? No. He may well have a problem, but it is to point out that upper Trump and downer Trump have been visibly very different from the beginning. And I can only imagine that if someone has access to nuclear weapons and is involved in diplomatic conversations with world leaders at the highest level, this is not what you want. You don't want upper and downer version of the world leader that can launch nuclear weapons make or break alliances and relationships, slap tariffs that destroy, you know, hundreds of thousands of workers, businesses. This is not a guy. That's not a position, rather, where you want a guy that has an upper version and a downer version.